I want to go over a couple real brief overview of a couple devices that at first some people never heard of them and think it's complete quackery but I say it's not because one way I actually sometimes uh, confirm something is if I start to see it used in the veterinary world on pets and animals and horses uh, dogs and cats those type of little critters and uh, you know, a lot of times the things that work in the veterinary world often will work in on people too. It's just that you don't really have to go through all the scientific studies and everything to, uh, you know, go ahead and treat a pet versus trying to treat a human. So this is a soda magnetic pulser. Uh, it will pulse for 20 minutes, and what it is, it's not a constant magnetic field; it's a pulsing field. Now. There's been a number of uses in it. If you ever heard of Dr. Robert Beck's protocol, this is one of the things he uh, emphasizes. And uh, he says it's to use it against in the lymph system where possible viruses or pathogens could hide. Where if you're using blood electrification, I hopefully I'm not losing people on this, but using blood electrification sometimes to uh, stop viruses or hinder their reproduction. Um, you don't always get into the recesses of the lymph system. So the pulser was designed, you know, to uh, move fluid in and out of the lymph system, and it can help, um, you know, in that way. And that's this was part of the Beck protocol. But it actually has a lot of different uses. Actually, a lot of times people have said that this this device has helped relieve pain, works with pain management. But there seems to be a host of other things. And um, one other device, I have a, a homemade unit of that magnetic pulser. I don't have the soda instruments, but I do have this unit. It's called the BioTuner. And I was stating that on setting 3 and also setting 6, which is the same as setting 3, it's half power, that setting 3 to Schumann Earth frequency, uh, that's been shown to be a healing frequency, actually. If you stand on the Earth barefoot, you get the Schumann Earth frequency naturally like if you're at the beach you're standing on the sand uh, barefoot you're getting the Schumann earth frequency naturally that's a lot of times why people go to the beach they feel better not just cause of the sun and the waves but they're connected to the earth this uh, you can connect to it now this unit comes with these ear clips but you notice these can disconnect this is actually a pin that's connected in here and I went over this on previous videos but you can also um, connect pads and use it like um, a TENS unit that stands for transcutaneous electric nerve stimulation but this is what I want to point out and this is where your absurdity check really goes into play this is an interesting site called wehealanimals.com now if he did this with humans he'd be in big trouble with the FDA but he's working with dogs cats and horses and he has a device that is well it's somewhat similar from my understanding anyway to the uh, uh, the Beck Bio Tuner, and it's called uh, it's the We Heal Plus device, right? And you know they used it on various things, like you use the results of rabbit studies can be seen. You can look at this thing, but you know he showed where he used it on this one dog that was paralyzed, and they they couldn't do nothing about it on his hind legs. And uh, so many days later, it was running around from the use of this device. Now, if you did this with a person. And even if the person was cured like that, oh, you'd be getting slammed big time for making claims. But see, this is where I'm going to show you that a hint that these things actually work because they're being used on animals. They're being used on cats, dogs, and horses. See, that's another thing where I use this absurdity check in the alternative medicine world. If I see it's used in a veterinary world with success, if they're using certain herbs and things like that, or certain types of um, medic medicines, and they're working in the animal world or supplements, a lot of times that's a good indication that they work in a human world. And also, if you see it used in the ancient world. Now, this is not something that's ancient medicine, but... If you read some of these stories, there were, his device, you know, I wouldn't know if it applies to humans, but I want to alert people because I say there is a major conspiracy in the medical profession to keep the best, cheapest, most efficient healing methods away from the public. Because, you know, say for instance this BioTuner 
does a lot more than soda instruments can make claims on. They just call it a feel-good device. But it has a hell of a lot more uses than that, and they just can't say. They just can't say due to other reasons, you know. But, you know, looking at what happened, you know, the device that was made here, it says the We Healed Plus device, is quite similar in some ways to the Beck BioTuner. And uh, it's been used to heal animals left and right. I mean, there's some miracle stories on here. So if you have, like, tendonitis, you have arthritis, you might want to try, as an experiment, this magnetic pulser and also using the pads in, on, you know, you hook in the medical pads instead of these ear clips and using setting 3 to Schumann Earth Frequency for, like, tendonitis, arthritis, or maybe to help heal something that was, like, a fracture or something like that. But uh, there's a lot more uses out there. And actually, this is a uh, pulsed electronic electromagnetic field therapy for life. It's sight, right? It's uh, P-E-M-F -E for life.com, right? And there's scientific studies. Now, this is pulsed electronic magnetic pulse. The pulsed uh, magnetic field is actually the um, this unit here, the soda magnetic pulser. And there's other brands out there. But, you know, if you're looking at the studies, you know, it's for help, helping healing bone fractures is one of them. Uh, tendonitis, Alzheimer's disease, uh, another one. Uh, sclerosis, Lou, Lou Gehrig's disease, ankle sprain, arthritis again. Um, also even goes in with Parkinson's disease where somebody was shaking, they, they pulsed the hand bronchitis, cancer, um, you know, I would not try to make, I would not really think it works on everything perfectly, but you know, the beauty of some of these units is, um, you know, obviously it's not so much of a miracle cure, but the beauty of these units is, is once you buy them, they last for years and years and years and years. In other words, you buy this unit, this magnetic pulser, it just lasts and lasts and lasts. It's a quality device. Uh, the bio tuner lasts for years and years and years. And actually, I use just a rechargeable battery in it. So I don't even buy a battery for it. But the batteries last many, 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 many hours. It's ridiculous how long the batteries last. But, I, you know, it's like once you buy the stuff. And see, the problem is with magnetic and electrotherapies is that Assuming they work, let's just assume they work. You know how much that would cut into the pharmaceutical industry if you're using it to actually fight microbes and uh, manage pain and help heal and you know bring about changes for, you know where you don't have arthritic pain or anything like that or tendonitis from overexertion in sports and whatever. You know how much money that would take out of the pharmaceutical industry because once you buy these devices. You just don't buy something again. They last for years and years and years. And more than one person can use them. You know, in the pharmaceutical model, you have to pay, 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 pay. You keep renewing that prescription. And if you want it renewed, you guess what? You go to the doctor. And how do you get the prescription in the first place? You have to go to a medical professional with initials after their names, right? So... I can say this, you know, I'm going to say these are two worthwhile devices to get. They're pretty expensive. Um, you know, they're not super cheap or anything. I think this mag I think there's other versions of the magnetic pulse you can find on Amazon that are maybe $100 or so less money than this. But this is actually a very reliable one. This soda instruments one it is a very reliable device. And it will last you many years, and he's got a very good warranty on it. So, you know, I have to say that on the flip side. But uh, just looking how, you know, what's going on in science. Now, this is actually some scientific studies, double-blind studies, where they're using these devices or similar devices. Actually, this was uh, the magnetic pulse therapy on people. But here you can look at, on this one, We Heal Animals. Oh, there's some miracles on here, big time. But, you know, if you showed this like this on a person, you'd be hit with all kinds of liabilities or whatever it is but I have to say this a little common sense says if it's working miracles on dogs cats and horses you know wouldn't you think it could help a person and the way I look at it it's definitely not harmful I mean to use this magnetic pulse therapy is definitely not harmful and there's been many and actually we're even recognized in a more established medicine there's too many people that say it helps with pain management 
So it may be providing healing effects too. I mean, if the pain is usually like the signal to the body that something's wrong, it's a signal to you that something's wrong. If the pain is subsiding, it almost tells you that may indicate that it's healing, right? I mean, it's just a little common sense. Maybe that's flawed logic. Maybe it's just making and masking the uh, injury, but I don't know. I mean, there's been some, like you said, that one site just shows a lot of studies where this actually helped heal a number of maladies. But the thing is, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, and it's like a permanent device, both these devices. So just want to put this out here because it's been used a lot in a veterinary world, and that's a good absurdity check as to what can actually have potential in humans. Now, I also want to go into something else. They don't have this device here, but I read extensively uh, about electromedicine, and I just want to ad, ad lib here a little bit. Actually, it was in... Uh, Dr. Robert Otto Becker, MD, not not Robert Beck, PhD, it's another doctor. He wrote The Body Electric, and actually in that book, he was doing studies in the 1970s, and uh, it wasn't either one of these two advice, uh, devices, but uh, he, used a, he did an experiment with rats where he actually severed the leg of the rat, and he put he actually found a way to regenerate legs of rats, of rats which don't regenerate limbs, by using the uh, negative side of the platinum electrode and the positive side of the silver electrode, which was attached to the end of where the leg was severed. Um, they applied like about one nano amp. It was a nano amp. It was very, very low current, and uh, Regrew, regenerated the limb. He had certain other um, parameters in it, but actually regrew the limb. Now, the whole limb. In other words, it grew like the femur, it grew the, the knee joint in a rat, it grew the ankle, the foot, everything. It regrew everything. So somehow the DNA has a coded memory someplace, and I don't know how this works, but it seems that all life can do this with the right coaxing from electrotherapy, but it's extremely low current. It's very, very low. And uh, usually as a word of caution, like for instance, if you're using this device, and I just want to add this on here, if you're experimenting with this device, and say you're using it on setting 3 to Schumann earth frequency, and you're using medical pads attached to it instead of these little uh, ear clips, Use it on a low enough setting where you don't feel any kind of buzzing, stinging, or pain. Because if you start feeling any kind of pain, that is much, much, much too high. Healing actually is something that involves a much lower current than it does for killing microbes. And even microbes, you should not feel any kind of pain. You might feel slight tingling or stuff. But now this does not kill microbes or anything like that. But I'm just saying as a general rule, healing actually requires lower electricity. Now the electricity that Dr. Robert Otto Becker, MD, applied to regenerating limbs, but he did this a certain way. He had like a platinum electrode, a negative side, and a positive side silver, silver electrode and there was other things involved besides what I'm telling you with a nano amp but a nano amp is like I think it's a millionth of an amp it's like extremely low it was even much much lower than healing frequencies the regeneration frequencies are much much lower than the healing frequencies and the healing frequencies are much much lower than the frequencies used and, and electricity used to kill microbes or stop the regeneration of mi microbes so just want to put that out as a general rule but you know if you have some chronic problems you might want to experiment with these two things the one thing called the soda bio tuner and the other thing called the magnetic pulser I think that might be a very smart thing to try out and the reason I'm saying this if they've been doing all these miracles with all these animals, if you can look at this site, wehealanimals.com, you may be very surprised how powerful these devices are working. I mean, if it seems to work on horses, cats, and dogs, I don't know why it wouldn't work on humans. That's really a question. I'll leave it as an open-ended question. But, you know, I'm somebody interested in the truth. And I don't like, uh, I'll tell you the truth, I really do know that in alternative medicine, there is a lot of garbage and there is a lot of overpriced stuff. So like when I actually present something here on YouTube, I'm trying to give you the best deal for the money 
where I think you really can't go wrong or definitely can't harm you in any way. And um, just the fact that this has been working, you know, similar devices. This isn't an exact soda biotuner, but it is very close to it. This We Heal uh, Plus device is fairly close to it. Has been used on horses, cats, and dogs with amazing success stories. So if you have a problem that seems that medical science can't seem to solve, you might want to look into some of these alternatives. They're not that much money compared to what the kind of money that the alter the uh, the established medicine takes from people. It is astronomical what they take. And you know, that is really the impetus why they don't want this stuff to get out. Because once you buy this, you really don't buy nothing again. I mean, if you've got a way to manage pain or heal something or fix something faster or whatever, uh, you know, guess what? You're just, you just put the pharmaceuticals out of business big time, didn't you? Or you cut into their business deeply. They don't like that. They don't like that. And that's one reason is messages usually get squashed. But, you know, you might want to check out this soda magnetic pulser and this soda biotuner. Uh, there's a lot more methods that they could be used for other than what the, the manufacturer claims. The manufacturer cannot make claims. But I just have to point out, I'm not making claims, but I'm just showing you that similar devices are being used with amazing miracle-like results on dogs, cats, and horses. And that gives you a heads up that just maybe they work on humans that way too. Just maybe.